vacation, but you can't get away. It's time for a staycation. We'll show you how to escape the monotony of every day by creating a fun and relaxing getaway at home on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. We're so lucky to live in beautiful South Florida where others dream of vacationing. So when we can't get away from it all, all we have to do is head to our own backyards. Today, I'll share some ideas on how to create a backyard tropical oasis, a great setting to enjoy family meals, and a spot to lay back and relax. So if you're missing the beach, I thought, why not bring the beach to your home with a fun sandbox where the kids can play and just creating a little oasis-like setting in your own backyard. So how do you create such a thing? Well, first, find an area that might be suitable for creating your little sandbox, sand pit. Now, if you pour sand onto a grassy area, it will absorb and seep into the grass. So you might wanna do some sort of liner that will keep that from absorbing, or perhaps it's a small mini uh, pools. Anything that will contain the sand will be great. You could even build a frame out with some brick pavers and create a little area where you're gonna put the sandbox. Now, what type of sand do you put in it? Play sand, so you can get that at any hardware store. I'd say best to probably overbuy a little bit so you're not stuck with less sand. All right, so we're gonna get this started and I cannot wait for you guys to see how fun this can be to add to your own backyard. Make sure when you set up your sandbox or little beach oasis that you have some toys for the kids. You could even use some of the toys to kind of spread it out if you want a little more coverage and you want to make sure everything is covered here. Um, got a little rake to do that too. And let me tell you, I, woo, <laughs> I miss the feeling of sand on my feet and I know that so many of us at home do. And so just a little tip to be able to keep your pets away from the sand, which we might want to do, sprinkling a little black pepper or Cajun pepper will do the trick. So this came out so cute. I hope you guys could implement this somewhere in your home for fun space for the kids. For me right now, I'm loving the way this feels on my feet. It definitely brings those staycation vibes, but you know what really is going to bring the staycation vibes? A hammock. I think it's the perfect addition to any home, whether you have some trees in the yard, whether it's right in the area like we have it here in this sand little oasis, or somewhere in a private corner of your backyard. The hammock is the best thing for relaxation, reading, and just staycation feeling. This is so relaxing. I'm ready to kick back, enjoy a nice book, maybe a drink, and we'll see you when we get back. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, Make your family meals feel special with a great table setting. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our staycation episode with great ideas to create the perfect relaxing area in your own home. Since we already set up a little oasis with the hammock and the sandbox, you have a place to relax, but what about a great place to eat? When we travel, we always have memorable meals, so I thought this is a great time to be able to dine outdoors, enjoy our great weather, cook a great meal that reminds you of your favorite place, and set up a great table. So I started with a nice centerpiece, and I think um, a fire feature is one of the nicest things that reminds us a lot of resorts when we're traveling and whatnot. So this is an awesome tabletop fireplace from EcoFew, and it's an ethanol fire feature that you could easily move and set up for a relaxing evening meal. And I think for here, we're going with a little nautical feel. So whatever your theme is, you could take it and run. I'm gonna grab some shells and kind of strew them across the table. I think making a place feel like more of a resort, a beautiful meal at a restaurant, I think it's all about the ambiance. So here I'm just putting a few beautiful shelves just to kind of create that vibe of a nautical environment. We've got our fire feature, we've got our lights, 
So you can just kind of string them around. I'm just going to place a few for now, but you get the idea. So I'm going to grab some plates and show you a little sample setting. I love these caddies. I think having a little caddy is great for all of your utensils, your napkins, your straws. The reason things like that are good is because when you are going to set stuff up outdoors, you might want to set it up in your kitchen, have all of your silverware, and you could bring it right outside. So I'm using a little placemat. I wanted to add a pop of blue. Whether you use placemats or not, I think they're pretty and again, adds that restaurant-like feel, the resort-like vibe. Um, I got some great outdoor plates. If you are going to be dining outdoors and you don't want to use your, you know, your china or the more of the dishes that are breakable around the pool, outdoor plates are a great option. I went again with a little bit of a nautical theme. And you get fun with the napkins. I ordered some napkins online in a little bit of an anchor theme and added a little bit of a red so you can just kind of mix it up. You can have fun with it. Maybe you want to layer it and do a little bit of a, a little thing like this. So just have a fun pop of red and then the anchors. If you want to get a little, feel like you're at a nice little event, add some touch of your shells around. You could really create a beautiful setting just by simply adding things that you already have. Found objects. Keeping with the theme, these are great for outdoor, these tumblers. You don't want to really start to do things that are going to be breakable. I try to avoid using glass at the outdoor areas. If you have a pool, especially where there's young kids running around, you don't want anything breaking. So another great thing, I'm adding the shells. Not only are they decorative, but they add weight. So this way you don't have to worry about your placemats blowing around. So when setting up the outdoor table, I feel like, especially for the staycation vibe, if you wanna feel like you're at a resort and have a beautiful meal outdoors with your family and just enjoy the weather here, I think make it feel like a table setting you don't normally do. But because it's outdoors, it could still have a casual vibe. So that's why I used a lot of the tumblers and the more casual tableware. But again, you could still have a lot of fun with the theme. And here we've got our beautiful table setting ready for the barbecue. Coming up next, we show you how to have fun in the sun and stay cool in style. sold your old home, but your new home's not ready yet. Or maybe you're doing a large renovation project. What are you going to do with all your stuff? Elena, come on in. Let me show you the storage facility. So I'm going to hop in with Spiro and show you how they can help. Hello. That's the way to hustle. Yeah, I'm ready to move stuff. Check out the storage facility. Let's okay. buckle up for safety. That's right. So we're going to go check out the warehouse. Absolutely. Let's go check out our storage facility. So now, this looks like a huge property that we're driving up to. Oh yeah, we've got uh, over 40,000 square feet of uh, storage space here. We've got plenty of space for uh, everyone's storage needs. Oh yeah. So Spiro, this is the facility. That's right. This is the uh, storage facility. Now, what are we going to be seeing today? So today we got a customer coming out of storage. They've completed their uh, South Florida home project and oh. they're ready to get their items back in their home. Awesome. So I can't wait to see how you guys store everything and ready to get that all happening. Absolutely. So Spiro, this is quite an impressive uh, warehouse here. Oh, yeah. Like, are these all containers of all the projects that you're handling for homeowners? Yeah, yeah. We've got about 2,000 containers in this building. And of course, we have another building uh, just on the other side, which is the fully air conditioned one. And this is short term and long term storage. So there's options. That's right. Is it monthly options or it's uh, however long they need it? However long they need it. Um, unlike some uh, storage facilities, we don't have a minimum time period that you're charged for. So if you're here three days, you're charged for three days. If you're here for a month, it's a month. So Spiro, I see with the containers, the items look like they'll be pretty safe. But oh, yeah. How about the facility? Can we talk a little bit more about the security in here? Sure, of course. As you know, as a former police officer, I take security very seriously. Uh, and for that reason, we've got cameras outside the building, inside the building, inside the trucks. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> and on top of all that, we even have 24-hour monitored security with a security officer in the building. So this sounds about as safe as it could possibly could be. This is it. You're not going to have any problems here. It's uh, very clean also. So Spiro, I know you guys do a lot with storage and big moves, but do you also do smaller things? We do. We can move uh, just one item across town, like a piano, for That's example, uh, or we can do the entire household. And we're a full service company, which means you don't have to lift a finger if you don't want to. We'll do the packing, we'll do the unpacking. 
and of course, storage. So it sounds like no job is too big or too small. That's a very accurate statement. If someone is thinking about a move or even storage, how do they contact you? Very easy. Simply dial star star greet from your cell or go to goodgreek.com. You make it sound so simple. That's right. We're continuing our staycation at home episode with lots of great tips for you to set up your own house like a little resort. So I thought next I would showcase the way to do a little outdoor bar. I think when we're all vacationing, the best thing about that sometimes is having a great bar area to relax at. So I'm gonna set up a little, um, kind of a little tray that could be moved around, a little bar tray, and then show you a larger option as well. And uh, again, it could be set on the countertop, on the table, or be moved around to wherever you're sitting and lounging. Okay, so a couple things. Sometimes um, unconventional accessories really can act as great things for um, serving stations. I found this flip-flop, I loved it, I thought it was cute. I'm gonna use this as a tray to put the straws in. This way they are off the table and you kind of get something just like that. So look around your house. You might have some fun objects, clean them off. And again, this is a fun little accent to add that brings that summer vibe. All right, so for the tray, we have a nautical theme going on. So I found this bringing in the anchors and the navies and the rope accent, thought it would fit nice. So again, if you are theming your decor for your staycation, go with the theme. And if not, you could do just a basic plain white tray or, or something like that. So setting up your drinks in nice carafes. So this one, just a very inexpensive. You may already have some of these in the house. It just gives that nice, hotel-like feel because typically we might keep them in the bottles that they come in. But when you go ahead and bring it to this look, it gives it the feel that you're in more of a restaurant or hotel. All right, so once you have your drinks, you might do a small ice bucket on the side, and in this case on the tray, so you'll set up maybe your outdoor glasses, some tumblers, again, set those out on your tray. So you kind of have a nice little station. You've got your straws. And another thing that I like to do, is maybe a small pail. Again, you might have everything like a larger bin or perhaps something small like this. S throw some ice in there, throw some cans, some bottled waters. This always gives that great party vibe and is again, a fun way to entertain your family and yourselves at home. I even found some small pails useful for things like straws, for cutlery, for whatever you wanna put in there. I think it gives that fun summertime vibe and also a way to infuse color into this display. And then I think once you have this all set, it's fun to add little candles, little lanterns with LED battery operated lights. Um, I even threw a little bowl together with some snacks and desserts just to have. So look through your house, find some different serving trays, platters, bowls, cups, whatever you have, and refashion it to create your bar and countertop area. So we've got this set up, but what if you wanna go relax at the pool or have a nice drink? not in the dining area? Well, I like using a larger tray that's easy to put right on a side table, poolside. And again, here I'm using the plastic bottles. I've set it up with some napkins. I'll grab some cups. And then look around your yard. Perhaps you have some great leaves. Give it that tropical vibe. So I'm gonna take one of these and just sort of set it. Again, you wanna just give that feel like you are perhaps at a really nice hotel. They are setting this up, bringing this out to you poolside. You can do this in your own home and feel like you're at a five-star resort. Next on SoFlo Home Project, nothing feels quite like a getaway than a private sanctuary. How do I turn my house into a home? That's one of the most frequently asked questions I get as an interior designer. And let me tell you, it's all about creating personalized spaces that suit you and your lifestyle. There really are no rules. On Zofo Home Project, we're committed to sharing design ideas with you to help you achieve this goal and make your house more beautiful and comfortable. Follow us on social media for more design advice every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. on Instagram for an Instagram Live session. I'll be answering any design questions you might have and having fun with design. And now, back to the show. 
we are continuing our staycation episode with all great ideas to get your home ready for that in-home vacation. So now, the last thing I wanted to show you guys today was setting up your own little outdoor oasis. Now, whether you have a small balcony or a little area of your yard or just maybe something right off of the house like right here, that you want to create a beautiful area that you could sit and relax from everything else. So, best way to start with that is getting a little bit of artificial turf. Now this here, super easy, and as you see, just goes down real simple. It seems together just fine. And you could buy this right on, off of the roll at a local hardware store. And the reason this turf is such a great thing is because sometimes it's really hard to grow grass in areas that don't get direct sunlight. Again, you might even wanna use it on your balcony or a small terrace. So it's the perfect alternative to giving you that greenery in an area where you can't grow grass or an area where you don't wanna maintain grass. It's really nice to step on, feels great on the feet. So it's a nice thing to put in that small area where you want to create your outdoor oasis. And now adding some rocks, you can use any river rocks and stones and different colors to accent it, create that zen-like vibe, a little bit of wood as well to separate. So you can really have fun with this. When you're planning your little outdoor oasis, use some stones, use some fake turf, use a little bit of wood trim if you need. Get creative and make a wonderful place where you want to sit and relax at your own home. Now, let's style this up. I'm going to go grab some furniture. Okay, so I found some stuff in the yard that we're just using. And again, at your own home, you could just find things. Maybe it's a lawn chair or a nice piece of furniture, a little garden stool that you have elsewhere in the house. Use it to create this little oasis. So we've got some pillows. So I've got two chairs. Kind of gives the look of almost an Adirondack chair, but these are like an all weather kind, which is perfect for South Florida, light, easy to move. So just gonna create a nice little nook with these two here and style it with some pillow cushions. Again, use things you already have. If you don't have a chance to get some new stuff, but you could order things online. There's a lot of stores that still are selling all this great outdoor stuff at great prices. So I've set up the chairs here with some cushions, a mix of pillows. Again, it doesn't always need to be matchy-matchy. Have some fun with the cushions. It's a great spot where you can infuse color, infuse your own personality into the space. So we've got a floral and then a nice smart stripe. And then great finishing touches when you've set up your furniture. You could throw a little garden stool in the middle for a drink table. I love these mason jars. Look how cute these are. So perhaps you want to sit out here at night and enjoy a nice glass of wine, read a book, chat and relax. Some lighting is always key. So here I have mason jars with battery operated LED string lights. You could easily order these online or create your own. Or even a battery operated candle lantern. So you could add lanterns in this area, large ones. But here I've just got some small, again, just for ambiance, just for some lighting. You could even go as far as adding a small fire pit or adding a little fountain. So I love the way this looks. It's so fun to have a carved out area of your yard or balcony that just feels like a home away from home. So I hope that gave you a lot of inspiration in setting up your own outdoor oasis. And remember, no matter how big or small your yard, use your creativity and set something like this up. You'll love it for those summer nights where you just want to sit and chill. And now let's see what Hunter Frankie from SoFlo Health has for us tomorrow. Hey Hunter. Hey Elena. Animal lovers, we have you covered tomorrow on SoFlo Health. We're inside Frost Science Museum for an exclusive look at how they're taking care of their marine life during this time. Plus, dogs and cats at the Humane Society, they're still open and you can still foster and adopt. Plus, Monica of Essence Nutrition throws away diet culture and talks to us about intuitive eating. We get the updates on what reopening might look like from Dr. Terry Adderum. And of course, Morgan has a warm up for us so that we can work out more effectively. There's all of that and more tomorrow, SoFlo Health, 1230, right here on Local 10. Thanks, Hunter. We'll definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, I hope that you guys got some great ideas to set up your very own outdoor oasis, relaxing staycation. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project, only on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like home. SoFlo Home Project. If you missed any part of this makeover, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your design disasters and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.
Next week on SoFlo Home Project, get ready to give your home a facelift with a little paint and lots of tips that will have you painting like a pro.